winds, storms and cyclones. Atmospheric pressure What is wind? It is moving air. Wind makes so many things happen. But what makes wind happen? We know that moving air is wind. But why would the air move? Air moves from a place where there is more air to a place where there is less air. If we want to say this like the smart science students that we are, we can say that air moves from a high pressure area to a low pressure area. That is the right thing to say. But let's make sure we have understood this properly. Air is everywhere and it's a gas. It is made up of many small molecules. These molecules are in constant motion. They keep banging against each other and all the things around them. That is how air exerts pressure. When the temperature increases, the molecules get more energy and they vibrate more. When they vibrate more, they move away from each other. We know this happens to all substances. That is why they expand on heating, don't they? Well, when air expands, that means that in the same place now, there are lesser particles of air. So, the pressure that the air particles exert is also less. So, when the temperature increases, the air pressure decreases. Make sure you remember this. Even if you don't remember this as it is, you can remember the logic and come to this conclusion yourself. That's not hard, is it? In fact, it's best if you do this each time. Then, you will never get mixed up and never go wrong either. What happens when the temperature decreases? The energy in the air molecules also decreases. So, they vibrate less and come closer to each other. That means, in the same area, there are more particles of air. With more particles, there are more collisions and hence, the air pressure is greater. So, when the temperature decreases, the air pressure increases. We have understood this. Let's just confirm that air has pressure. Then, we can go ahead with the rest of the concepts. Have you ever blown air into a balloon? Why does the balloon go on increasing in size as you blow air into it? That is because the air that you blow exerts pressure on the inside of the balloon and makes it stretch. And there is a big column of air above our heads. So, air does exert a lot of pressure. This is known as atmospheric pressure. So, air has weight and it exerts a force. You know that air is made up of small particles. There are more of these particles in the bottom layers of the earth. The particles in the air are constantly moving. As they keep bouncing off and hitting objects, they exert a pressure on the objects around them as well. Do you know how much this pressure is? The pressure on a 10 cm by 10 cm area is almost 1000 kg. The load on our head is almost 1000 kg. So, how do we survive? The pressure inside our body is also the same. So, the two forces balance each other and we remain normal. You know the tug of war game. If both teams pull with equal pressure, the rope does not move. There is no air on the moon and thus there is no atmospheric pressure. But the pressure inside our body still exists. 
So how do astronauts survive in space then? That is why astronauts have to wear special suits else all their body fluids would come gushing out. Here is an activity you can do with a metallic can. We heat it to make the air expand and go out. Then we quickly put it upside down in water. Why did the can get crushed? When we take the can off the heat, the air cools and contracts. As we immediately put it in water, no more air can enter. There is uneven pressure and that crunches the can. That is the power of atmospheric pressure. You know that air expands on heating. What happens to air when it becomes hot? it becomes lighter as there is less air left. What happens to light things? They float on the heavier things. So, the hot light air rises up. Warm air is lighter than cold air. So, warm air goes up and cold air comes down. You've seen this happening when convection currents get set up when you heat water too. So, what are the things to remember? Air pressure increases when temperature decreases and decreases when temperature increases. Hot air is lighter than cool air and therefore rises. Cool air is heavier than hot air and therefore it sinks. Air moves from a high pressure area to a low pressure area. When air moves, we get wind. Now, remember the planetary winds that you studied in geography. Near the equator, you have a low pressure belt because it's hot there. The air expands and the pressure reduces. Near the poles, you have a high pressure belt because it's cold there. The air shrinks and the pressure increases. There are more pressure belts on Earth. All these cause planetary winds. Do you remember the land breeze and sea breeze or the mountain breeze and valley breeze? Basically, it's all based on this one concept of air pressure. Just like the direction of local winds gets reversed during night and day, the direction of seasonal winds also gets reversed during summer and winter. Since it changes with seasons, these are called seasonal winds. The monsoon winds bring water for the whole of India. Our whole country is dependent on those. When the monsoon is problematic, there are basic problems in everything and anything that happens in India. What did we just learn? Air around us exerts pressure. Air expands on heating and contracts on cooling. Warm air rises up, whereas comparatively cooler air tends to sink towards the Earth's surface. As warm air rises, air pressure at that place is reduced and the cooler air moves to that place. The moving air is called wind. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.